belong to the Ripper Clowns. Uh, we are a group of uh, 5 to 12 people. We have uh, different backgrounds and different nationalities and we are of different ages. Uh, so we were invited here by the festival, in Cairo, to come here. And uh, we have been having two days of workshops, uh, two performances and uh, a public presentation. and we are not always clowns and army uh, but we are not specifically here and uh, we are not an activist group but we're not real clowns but we kind of merge these two forms into one form that for us creates intervention in public spaces and uh, that is a way for us to do direct action and to get control over our what we want to do and our goals and aims and give attention to a certain event or a certain um, political um, event or join a demonstration or help other groups. to show what we are doing in the Netherlands and uh, what, how we do it and what we do. Yeah, we work together in order to <laughs> create interventions and uh, deal with media, and public and authority um, at the same time uh, and try to make our message as clear as possible with all those three sides. I am always in favor of uh, people and taking control and direct action and self-organized uh, politics. or in the city or in the Europe, uh, if there's any demonstrations or possible actions, if there is an election happening. And uh, we, we then decide together what, what we would like to do and what kind of politics we want to, to aim for. And we make an idea of a possible action and we um, think about costume and uh, about um, makeup and uh, lines that we want to say. And uh, then we prepare an action and then we do an action. So if we're lucky, we do it once a month in action. And then we arrived to the square uh, and we were supposed to perform 
and very shortly before we were performing, we uh, got to know that we cannot wear our military jackets. And we had been, before coming to Cairo, we had been like suing our military jackets and make them clowny and suing on anyone, some to our jackets. And uh, then we cannot use them. And we got to know that 15 minutes before we were supposed to perform. And uh, that, in our actions, we need to calculate like time, space, form, and content. So our form was the military jackets, and we didn't know that we were not allowed th at that square to not wear them. And if we would know that, we would uh, not wear them. We would have been military, but in a in a way that is not literally wearing military jackets. We want to have our uh, army stuff back. We have. Um, uh, we, we are not allowed going out with army clothing, so we had to discuss a lot of time inside there if we should go out or stay in because we are an army and now we are just here with this. We are an army without a jacket. We are an army without army clothing, so this is. Just got jackets. But we are still an army. Yeah, it was the Dutch embassy who uh, said that we were not allowed to wear the military jackets on the, in our performance in the festival in a public space. And uh, we found that, um, and at that, that, that night we didn't want to compromise a solution because um, we would just be like half military. We want to be, we want to be fully dressed and fully prepared for an action, and we were not, and we were uh, also not really um, prepared for what would happen out there. So we needed to to have our clear like costume and things to do. So we couldn't really change at that point. So we were not allowed to leave the tent uh, where we were um, where we were uh, changing our clothes. So uh, uh, we stayed in in our military jackets and we invited some media to say like uh, we cannot go out, go out, but you can come in. Well, I mean, we are an international European more or less group. Um, so we are used to like uh, police being very well uh, controlled and regulated and systematic. Um, even though I do experience violence on the street, that's why I also do the actions because I, I also experience that there is a limitation to your freedom and there is a public space and anything is possible until you touch the border. So I'm always curious where that border lies. And um, I know that it's not possible to do what we are doing um, in uh, Egypt and I'm seeing it more and more. And even like what, when we could not wear our army jackets was also the first time you just cannot do that at that point, like at, in, in that risky situation. <laughs> I have been following uh, the, the Western European uh, news about what has been happening in Egypt, but uh, I'm also like learning more and more while being here and talking with people. And, and um, when the, the workshop participants are showing me like who we are, how the police actually behaves, it gives me more information to understand. right and wrong and that there is many many things in between but uh, uh, what we as an army in our army clothes we say about that we want ice cream we want chocolate we want love and respect and uh, that's what we are marching for people should not follow us as a group and do what we are doing I think that uh, people sh people know their environment much better than than uh, we do and we don't want to tell people what to do but um, yeah, I think um, at least for me this forum works very well to create actions and performances and interventions 
through naivety and through humor and through, um, through connecting uh, public and media and authority together. And um, that's where we come from and that's what we learn while we are doing. You can test like the borders of the public space and take small steps until you can uh, see it more and more how you can take control over yourself and your life and uh, what you do in the street and the public space and question other people's positions and uh, that's how power kind of functions and I myself I'm like a dancer and performer and choreographer and uh, I usually like work in the theater and in the theater you are coming to an empty space where you have to create and fill it out with things but I prefer to go out on the street and deal with the natural dynamics that are happening. If there's a car passing, you help it pass, you direct it. Or there is a child and you, you talk with a child, or there's an adult, or there's a man or a woman. And you can do so many things as a, when you're dressed up in costume as a clown. And also things that you cannot do as a normal citizen also. And uh, I feel much more brave behind, uh, behind like a uh, clown makeup and a nose than I would do as a, and things I would do it's things that I, I wouldn't do as a normal citizen that I can do as a cloud. So it also like opens up my sense of what I what is possible for me and what is my freedom through the the nose. And um, also when I get like sometimes me even even as a clown get scared, but then I have a whole group that can also uh, help me to be braver also. We're showing the exercises and the movements that we do uh, on the streets and how we approach the clown and how we use it. Uh, and um, we just hope to inspire people to do what they want to do with uh, what we do because we are also progressing our group and learning more about our actions and uh, uh, evaluating and failing and do it better next time. And we ho just hope to inspire people to to take initiatives into what they want to do. And we are just an example of that. And uh, for me, like the clown is very political because I think that no one can justify an idiot. So, so uh, that's why you can do whatever you want as a clown. And uh, you have to be like, humor is a very, very intelligent structure that you actually can use for many things. Well, I want to uh, pay my deepest respect for what you did since uh, January 25th. It really inspired us and all that. Uh, really touched us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.